Hey Pisces, welcome back guys. So we're going to go ahead and see what's coming towards you this week. What will you be dealing with? What are your overall messages? We're going to see what is your messages for the week April 3rd through April the 9th. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides and Guardians, what are the overall messages from my Pisces here? What do they need to know? What do they need to be prepared for? I have courage. Let me be open to courageously take the steps that are shown so it's something about you getting ready to take some steps and you obtaining that courage that you require so there are some changes that are coming towards you pisces this week and it's all about you being courageous taking that leap of faith leaving the fear behind and moving forward this may be a total new situation for you something that you have never experienced you're being told to move forward true offering a true offering takes what can what can be an unbearable cross and return and returns it to love so there is an offer that's getting ready to come towards you for some of you guys you may have been dealing with a breakup for a while now and now that it comes to a new opportunity or nor a new situation here you may be afraid to take this offer because of your past experience pisces you're being told to take that leap of faith take that leap of faith because there is love behind this this offer. This may also be an offer from that same person that hurt you. Okay, um, because there is an unbearable cross and returns it to love. So again, you and this person had a nasty fallout possibly in the past, and I feel that this person may be coming towards you with a new offer here. One more message for Pisces universe: expansiveness. Eter eternity is far. Far more creative than the ridge. Constraint and exhausted ego. So yeah, it's letting go of what no longer serves you. It's more or less like you dealt with an individual who could have been very egotistical or someone that just refused to see where you were coming from. I feel that this person is coming back with an offer. Okay. They've changed with expansiveness here. Um, this person is looking at things very different. Letting go of their ego. And you may be afraid to accept this person's offer or apology because of their past actions. But you're being told that it is safe for you. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians. What are the overall messages for my Pisces here? What happened in the past with my Pisces in this situation? I have the Seven of Wands here. So someone could have very well been guarded in the past, Pisces. I feel that someone's letting their guard down here. With the two of swords, this person wasn't decisive. They didn't know what they wanted in the past. When you and this person first started dealing with each other, it was like more or less like friends, possibly even friends with benefits. But as the connection moved forward, they were being indecisive whether they wanted to be in a committed relationship or not. I have the five of pentacles here. So I feel that this person decided to walk away from you and leave you out in the cold. Okay. They chose to go a different direction. And that hurt you. That hurt you because you had given this person your heart. You had given this person your all. And with the four of cups here, it's like they left you in this energy where you were wondering what happened. Why did they walk away? And the reason this person walked away because they weren't ready for something in the past. Now in the nine of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, they weren't ready for commitment. They weren't there yet. You were at the point where you were ready to be in a committed situation and this person was not there. They were just looking for friends with benefits here. The emperor in the reverse, he or she had a lot of things going on at that time that they couldn't get themselves to be in a committed situation. What is the current energy between Pisces and this person? I have the moon here. So I feel that this person is going to come towards you unexpectedly, Pisces. Making an offer, wanting to talk to you, wanting to communicate with you. Eight of Cups energy, they're returning because it is in the reverse. Someone is coming back, Pisces. Someone who could have very well hurt you in the past. Now they want some forward movement here with the Three of Wands. For some of you guys, this is going to be very surprising because you actually never thought that this person would come back and make an offer because of the way they left. And with the Nine of Wands in the reverse, it's like this person's in this energy now where they don't want to give up on the connection. They're wanting to work on this connection with you, and they're wanting an opportunity here. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians, what are the messages for my Pisces here? Eight of Swords. So this person's coming towards you because the Eight of Swords is in the reverse. They're hoping and praying that you forgive them for their past actions. They weren't mature back then to accept your offer. They weren't mature back then to be in a committed situation. And I feel that this person now, 
after being some time alone and being in this five of swords energy, he or she have come to a determination that it's time to grow up. It's time to grow up and it's time to get out of this, this single ready to mingle energy and really start dedicating his or herself to a, to a connection. See, they were in the past, they were very non-committal. Seven of swords energy may have even been having other options or dealing with other people. And I feel after a while, since this person has been alone, he or she have realized that they actually do want to obtain some type of peace, harmony, and balance here. And when they think of that peace, harmony, and balance, they think of you. Wanting to come back towards you and give this connection another opportunity. What is this person's intentions with my Pisces universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians? Knight of Pentacles. And it is in the reverse. So meaning, in the past, this person was very stubborn to make an offer. Or very stubborn to stop thinking or acting a certain way. And now with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, they're no longer stubborn. Okay? They're letting go of that ego. They're letting go of that stubborn energy here. And now they're making the offers. Ace of Cups energy. So if you were dealing with someone who walked away from you, who really acted like they did not give a crap whether they were with you or not, now this person is looking at the connection very different. Okay? Now they're wanting the opportunity. Look at the Page of Cups. They're wanting to communicate with you. They're wanting to talk to you. What is the possible outcome in this situation for my Pisces and this person, universe? What is the possible outcome for Pisces and this person? The death. So this person has gone through a transformation, Pisces. There's a big, significant change in this individual. With this Knight of Swords energy, they're no longer wanting to run away from the connection. On the contrary, this person is wanting to take a leap of faith towards you because now they're coming in as this King of Pentacles. Now they're stable. They've had time to soul search. They've had time to look at themselves for who they really are. I feel that this person has done a change. They went from being this immature, egotistical individual that loved to deal with several other people and several other options to coming to this energy now where they have done a transformation. They've become more mature, more adult-like, and now they want to pursue only one connection, and that connection is you, Pisces. With the Knight of Wands here, expect forward movement from this person. Expect this person to be persistent, to want to show you that they're committed to you now. Now this person is wanting to go above and beyond to show you, Pisces, that you are their soulmate with the lovers here, that you are the person that they want to be with. So you dealt with someone in the past who did not know what they want. And in the current energy, now they know what they want. And it's you, Pisces. What is the possible outcome in this situation, universe? What is the possible outcome for my Pisces and this person in this situation, please? The star. You guys are going to have the opportunity to heal this connection. To possibly be able to work together and get back into a much more grounded energy. And as I say that, bottom of the deck, the Ten of Pentacles. Okay? So I feel that this time around in this connection, you're dealing with someone who is much more mature, much more dedicated, and ready to move forward in a connection with you. In the past, they had no idea what they wanted to do. That's why they ran away. But in the current moment, this person knows that they want you and they want to move forward with you. All right, Pisces, I hope and pray that this reading gave you the clarity that you needed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. And if you want to book a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.